Hi, this is Christy Whitman with the Quantum Success Show, where you can get your information and inspiration to create your desires. And I am so excited because in studio today, I have two very special guests who are very near and dear to my hearts because they are QSEA graduates. And Mariev is actually in my advanced class called Awakening Your Light Body. So I'd like to introduce all of you, my family, to Mediev and Jonathan. So nice thank you both for well, being thank here. Thank you so much for inviting us. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're certified coaches and at the same time, they also are circus performers in Cirque du Soleil. And they are amazing. And when my assistant, Teresa, had sent me a link about what they do, I was like, I have got to have them on the show, and I'm going to show throughout this video some different clips so that you can be astonished and amazed as I am, because I love the circus, and I know the first time Frederick ever took me we went to Las Vegas and we saw O mm -hmm. from Cirque yeah. du Soleil, I mean, it's all quiet, and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> shut up, and he's like, baby, baby, you got to be quiet, I'm like, that's amazing, how do they do that? So I was just so excited to see you guys doing this. I mean, it's amazing work and why I wanted to have you on the show is because obviously you have this as your career of what you've mm -hmm. been doing and following for a long time and then you also are in the process of building your coaching business and which you know most of us do I certainly did that too mm -hmm. but I would I'm curious because so many people aren't coaches so many people are doing you know what they're currently doing whether it's sales or they're doing hair or they're a real estate person how can you apply you know, the universal laws to have the type of success that you want in your life. And how has that changed your life? So I would love to hear, you know, from you. So Jonathan, do you want to start? Yeah, sure. Um, well, in many aspects, certainly uh, your courses certainly brought uh, a lot of uh, depth and, and uh, precision onto the law of attraction and, and everything. And for me, um, on the matter of health, I'm very, uh, very, um, knowledge and I spent 10 years of my life to 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 uh, to learn and perfect health because within injuries within the circus and you know we have a, a, a career that it goes and goes I'm 36 years old but the, it's like uh, at one point the body and you're we're asking a lot about the body and um, injuries is certainly a big aspect out of, uh, of our profession certainly and how can we prevent injuries? Is it possible? And my answer is yes, 100%. Injuries are only a result. A result of what? Of something else. That something else often comes a lot through the mind. The mind, if you have, there's many aspects. If you have an inner dialogue going on and you're not really aware of it, you know, you don't put necessarily an, your awareness on it, yes. it grows and then you're nourishing it and then eventually, you know, what you focus on expand, boom, so then the things start to get bigger and then you get injured and you go, what happened? When you think about it, suddenly it's like, let's say you had uh, something happen in your life, I don't know when, and then you were sort of not necessarily wanting to go and perform on stage and then it's like, and then you, you find all these dark areas where you're nourishing, nourishing, and then boom, the injury happened. Well, it happened because you didn't necessarily want to be on stage. And then life took it over because you were not fixing that thing. So so let's say with the QSA, that sort of thing, just put some more awareness and boom, catching yourself right from the beginning mm. and then fixing it and transforming your thoughts, you know, absolutely. into better thoughts. So, so to answer the question, yes, injuries can absolutely be prevented when you already like uh, take care of your mind in the first place so well like you were saying even disease and that yes. accounts for you know like louise yes. Hay said years ago yes. that you can heal your life and that anything and i truly believe this and i see that with students you've seen it yeah. so many times in light body yeah. when someone has an ailment and i know linda armstrong was in light body and she literally healed her shoulder pain you know, because it's like w our bodies are so amazing yeah. and they're, they're our, like literally our traveling companion through life. My, my uh, teacher, Karen Lamarck Wilson, calls our, our bodies our subconscious mind. Mm. And it makes such sense because it's like our bodies are always trying to communicate to us, through us. Yeah. And if we have a pain, a lower back pain, a shoulder pain, our bodies are trying to tell us something. And it's always like you're saying, it's, it's a manifestation of what we've been thinking and believing fearing the resistance yes. and, it, and it, 
It's like we don't pay attention to the emotions of fear, so we ignore it, we suppress it, and so the body's like, okay, how am I gonna get his attention? How am I gonna get her attention? Okay, lower back problem. And then what do, what do most people in Western society do? They go to the doctor and I get an injection or yeah. I'm gonna take a pill. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like, <laughs> cover it. can, yeah, continue to cover up. And so we're still not listening to ourselves, listening to our body. So I love that what you're saying because it, it's, it's so true because it all starts in our mind. Yeah. I mean, and to work properly with the universal laws, I mean, you need to be aware of like what you're saying. What's the what's the talking going yeah, on over yeah, here? What's, exactly. what's the little messages that are happening? And are you gonna give fuel to that? Is that gonna become your mm-hmm. focus attention? Because that, that will become your reality. Or are you gonna focus on over here? It's kind of like the difference between the lack perspective and mindset, yep. you know, and all the things that most of us were taught versus the abundance mindset and really sh- choosing, I'm not focusing here, I'm focusing here. This being lack, this being abundance, just as an example. But, yeah, yeah. You know, so I love that. And, and then I, when you start, sorry. Go ahead. When no. you start doing that as well, like you you get to transform your life it's in your life in such a way that your everything gets more enjoyable because you don't let yourself go down a path that is going to bring you more of these bad, like a uh, low, low frequency, you know? And so you're like, the more you start doing it, the more you enjoy what you're um, getting back. And the more it encourage you as well, because you're, every situation you're facing, there's a way of seeing it that like, you know, like for example, we're coming from uh, seven months of, of shows, you know, like without coming back home. And it was a really long stretch. Like it's been like, we never done that before, yeah, yeah. like seven months. Um, and at the end, you're like so mentally tired and your body is tired as well. But you're like, okay, I cannot go there because I don't want to get injured. I don't want to fall. Like, for example, I'm 30 feet in the air, not that that, you know, it's not an option. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, okay, so what can I still look at that's going to make me um, feel good of, of doing it still, you know, like, so let's say I'm going to look in the future and say, like, I'm going to be so happy I've done seven months and I've survived it and you know like I'm gonna be so proud of myself or I'm gonna you know like there's people in the house that like in the in the public that has like um, saved so much money to come and see us so they deserve us to be you know like the top yeah exactly so it really and then you find back the motivation of doing what you do so it's like anything in the normal life everybody like at one point we want to wake up in the morning and don't want to go to work find the reason why it's going to be good for you to go and then this will bring you more you know and and yes, so absolutely. so this it gives you just a more pleasurable life absolutely yeah I so agree. this this it was a good like qsc and the program and you helped us realize this more and more and be conscious that we're having the key of choosing that Absolutely. So. And I have to say something. It's so cute because you both obviously are from Montreal and you have French accents. And I met a woman <laughs> years ago. Yeah, you, did. you didn't know that? <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I met a woman years ago at a personal development conference and she was also from Montreal and she also was, you know, French bilingual. And she would say, when she would say my body, she would say my buddy. And I, and I was like, I love that because our body is our buddy. Uh, she meant to say yeah, body, you know, but it came up buddy. Yeah, and you just said that. I was uh, like, yeah, oh, I just uh, thought about that. So yeah. it goes perfectly yeah, with yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah, yeah, about. Exactly. It's true. And that's it the is. way that we take it because if we don't have my buddy, <laughs> uh, if we don't have this buddy, we don't perform the way that we do, you know? Yes. We cannot. So we're taking care of ourselves like you know like we want it to last and I don't want to stop we don't want to stop stop doing what we do because our body is not well enough to do it anymore we want to stop because we're happy with what we're done and then we're mm-hmm. moving on to something else we want we don't want to grow old in pain yes. so it it really it's it's a full part of ourself and it's good to 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 notice that to um, realize that so awesome well I know before we were talking about like one of the you know just what are the different changes that you've made in your in your life and you were talking about really understanding law of attraction at a deeper level and how it works yeah. because you were talking about the other two laws yeah. so you want to touch on that yes definitely um, for me two laws that really unlock the functioning of the law of attraction was law of allowing law of detachment why because 
they're intimately linked with resistance. When you offer resistance, you're blocking the flow, you're closing the door for, from things from coming to you. And allowing and detachment, it's like so simple because before I knew that, doubt is something that comes super easily to you. You, you ask for something, oh, okay, you, you offer a little bit of patience, but then, oh, it doesn't come. <laughs> doubt comes, closing the door. But once you know that, you know, you, I realize there's a, a, little bit, a little bit of a dance with myself and the universe. Sometimes I take action. I know it's the time for me to take action. Then once that is done, it's the universe side to, to orchestrate and prepare the, the, the scenario and I'll know when it's my time to, to play the game again. And I like to, to sometimes um, use the example of uh, playing baseball. I'm, I'm in the field somewhere. It's not because I don't have the ball that the game is not still being played. Mm. But when the ball is going to be hit towards me, I'll know and I'll run for it. And I'm not going to run if it's you know hit too far from me. Another guy will go and get it. So you'll know. When life's going to hit towards you, you're going to know it's your time to take action. Take action. And then when it's the universe side, don't, tie, don't try to take control over that side because you're going to start to experience stress and doubt and all these things because it's not your turn to play the game. So love it. Allowing, detachment, let it go. When the ball's going to be hit towards me, I'm going to take action. And so it's like a dance. Universe myself, universe myself. Beautiful. And just to relax in the process. I love that analogy. That's amazing. <laughs> love it, love it. So one more thing I wanted to touch on is because you were talking, you guys are a couple and you've been together seven years and, you know, you were talking about how this information has even improved your relationship. So yeah. do you want to talk about that? Yes. Um, actually, like, um, communication is a big, big um point in the relationship you know and um, at one point we seemed like we had a harder time to communicate to each other and to understand each other and this class or this program really helped us to realize um, first of all who we are and why we want like some of the te of those things um, in our relationship and how to um, how the way that we think about our relationship makes the relationship so as soon as we like in plus we were like so fortunate like i mean like, we both wanted to do the the program and we both followed it we were in different classes with different teachers and stuff so we picked it up um on each on our side talking about it and stuff but it just improved by itself because we were both in the process of growth and understanding who we are and how that yeah the way that we think is influencing the other one or and as soon as you start doing the, this shift, things happen magically and you're mm -hmm. like, oh my God, I was trying so hard mm -hmm. to fight for this. It's like the resistance. You're exactly. Like, yeah. like instead of like just being it and like foreseeing like, okay, what you want to see happening and focusing on that, you're fighting, like you're trying to make things happen, you know? Yes. Or you want to have this pers the person do the way that you want them. Fit. And it's yes. not, it's, it's inside. It's the way that you're thinking about it and the way that you, when you do the shift inside, outside is just magically like, you're like, that was so easy, you know? Like, yes. And so much more fun. Yes. And two things that you said is that, you know, obviously with law of attraction, the thing that you focus on, you, you know, every, nobody's perfect, right? And so, you know, you could be the most wonderful person, but you're going to have some flaws. You're yeah. going to have growth points. You're going to have your, you know, reprogramming and growth that you need to do. But it's like how you show up in a relationship. If you have a partner that's looking at you in your full, you know, really divinity and, and looking for all the positive aspects yeah. about you, then you show up in that way. But if you have a, pers a partner that's looking at all your flaws and criticizing you, I mean, that becomes a point of focus. And that's also how you show up. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is that when two people are both doing their inner work, you know, when you're yeah. when you're both aligned, <laughs> yeah. that's what namaste is. Yeah, yeah. no, uh, that's exactly it. Yeah. I think that we're, we have both this openness, which allows things to happen. It's like, okay, recognize your fall, recognize whatever. You're, the journey you need to, to make in order to improve yourself. Sure. I think we both are like that. So the natural outcome was going to be, okay, a, a better match, a better understanding, a better understanding of yourself. And then understand why this came in conflict and so on and so on. So the understanding. So again, no resistance, yes. no no attachment to, uh, okay, I, I want to be like this. Instead of pointing the fingers, 
okay can i do some work yes okay uh, and then just a little bit every day improving yourself yes. it goes a long way mm -hmm. yeah so <laughs> instead of looking at her looking at each other going yeah. if you would change i'd be happy <laughs> yeah. you yeah. know that's totally yeah. not allowing yeah. Yeah. right yeah. giving your happiness yeah. in the hand of the other person is is not a good idea it's no. very heavy <laughs> you don't want to be responsible for that sort of thing <laughs> yeah. and it never is enough no no no, no. 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 never no. they can never fill up that tank yeah. Yeah. it has yeah. to come from within yeah. so yeah. Thank you both so much Thank for being you. here. Thank I'm so, so happy. Us. It was so great Thank to you, actually yeah. touch you both yeah. and, and hug you both and Same laugh here. with you both. Yes. And, yeah. and um, yeah. I really appreciate what you're doing to entertain people because I love what you do. And it's amazing that you are looking in the future saying, like, you know, mm. this isn't going to be forever. And this is what I am going to step into and move into. And I love that you've chosen the profession of mm -hmm. coaching because mm -hmm. it's... It's well, really amazing. For us, it, it was changing a passion for a passion because we've been doing this since we're, since we're uh, having 18 years old, like so, since we're 18. So I was not saying, I was not able to see myself like I might, I'm not going to go and do a nine to five job. Like I cannot do that. Like I need to exchange a passion for a passion. What, what we did from gymnastic or yeah. dance to gymnastic to gymnastic to circus and circus to coaching. It makes sense because we've li we've lived our life out of passion. So yeah. I love that. Yeah. Thanks to you. Passion <laughs> to passion. Yeah. Thank you both. You did the inner work. Yeah. But thank you for the acknowledging yeah. that. So yeah. I hope you have enjoyed this. I've enjoyed, as Abraham says, I've enjoyed this interaction immensely. Uh, <laughs> so yes. thank you so much. Leave me your comments. Let us know how what you're taking away from this. I mean, they both are Jonathan and Maria are amazing. They've like, given a lot of tips and information and takeaways. Hopefully, they become your takeaways. So leave us a comment. And thank you so much for watching.